the seeding in the fall if it's a real uh, hot, dry summer. However, weed pressure causes problems there because the weed come up and then if you seed it in the fall, you are probably going to have minimal success because of the weed cover that you have. No good solution. Generally, our, our, we feel that it still helps speed the process of re-establishing vegetation on the open ditch and is included as part of the project. Removal and disposal of the old headwall structure and then the construction of a new wood headwall structure are also estimated in there. Bringing your total construction costs into the 110,000 range. Basically you get to pay for uh, the engineering on the project besides after this, if the project is approved, we will go through final plans, specifications, go out to bids with the contractor, <coughs> bids from the contractor, you award the contract, we physically stake the open ditch. We control basically the slopes and the grade up the open ditch, so we physically can stake every 100 feet up the open ditch for the contractor to follow. Uh, additionally, we will handle the construction administration, the uh, pay estimates and stuff, the inspection out there on the project, supervising the pipe installation and stuff. That's all part of the services, basically, that uh, we provide. Those costs there are projected out through the project. Additionally, you have legal, um, basically, publications. You got other uh, hearings that possibly are going to come up through this process that basically are estimated there. Damages. You're going to have some possible crop damages at the end of the project. We estimate some crop damage cost in there and then contingencies. This is an estimate out front. We probably would not take bids for this project until like February. What the actual cost comes in is dependent upon how many contractors are bidding and what the price comes in at. So overall, additional uh, through the engineering and uh, administration, you're looking at around a $165,000 project. Other costs that have to be approved and addressed separately <coughs> is right away acquisition, <coughs> annexation, reclassification, then basically you pay for this work through warrants. Basically a check, stamp, the bare interest, and it, 6% interest. What, that's, what's reclassification? We'll, we'll cover that here real shortly. Okay. Bringing the projected total cost of the project up to the $233,000 range. Okay. Right now, including the lands of DD21 into this, the overall watershed area there we're looking at is around 5,400, excuse me, that's the current assessed acres, 5,470 acres. If all the lands were benefit identically, everybody paid identically the same per acre, which that isn't how this is assessed or paid for, you would have a cost of around $42 per acre average. Basically, if you spread that over a five-year period, you would be looking at assessments in the neighborhood of $8 or $9 per acre average. A typical assessment schedule will range from the highest benefit ground being in the range of three times that average. Okay, So the highest assessed ground out there could potentially have up to $120 an acre assessment spread over five years would be um, um, or, or three times the 20, $24, $25 range. Okay. Okay. Uh, that gives you an overview of costs. Uh, also down there you'll see the other non-district costs. We talked to the DOT about their structure over here in the East Road Ditch of Highway 196. They're willing to pay for the 
costs of getting that removed. However, we they are going to be doing bridge work on Highway 175, but could not guarantee when they could get to the removal of that. They suggested that it be removed as part of our contract, and they will reimburse the district for that cost. Okay, so that's why that's shown down there as a separate cost, basically, which would be paid for by the DOT. Annexation. Separately, we had a uh, listing of lands or annexation projection and the cost for that. What you see on this first map here in green are lands that from our watershed boundary review, basically we have mapped out what we believe to be the physical boundary of this district in what lands are currently not paying assessments for the facilities of the open ditch. And those lands basically are along the perimeter of the watershed. We also included lands that physically don't drain to this open ditch that would be part of the old 21 system. Okay, but they would have assessment for future purposes on the tile, the up upkeep and maintenance of the tile system. Those lands we find would be recommended for cleanup um, would be roughly around just short of 200 acres there involved that would be recommended for annexation. Additionally, we have evaluated the current assessment schedule over here and on that second sheet of your drawings you got this other pretty map that's at a much larger scale <coughs> because we needed to show there are lands up here, way over here, and here that are paying assessments to Grace District 73, and as you can see, are way removed from the facility of this district. These are air issues that over since 1920 through the record at the courthouse, lo and behold, a mistake was made in lands that should have been included somehow or got slapped into the listing. Additionally, over the years, parcels inside of the watershed get split. Somebody sells off 40 acres or 20 acres out of 40, sells off an acreage, sells off land to the airport. Lo and behold, what's supposed to happen is that parcel, the assessment to the original 40 acre track must be split based upon the acres of the two parcels that come out of the split. That did not occur and evidently the assessment stayed with one portion of the split and nothing was spread onto the other portion of the split. So there is a bunch of lands here that also need to be cleaned up as the process would take place. So, and then the purple boundary again are, are the lands in purple are the same thing that's shown over here in green. Those would be lands that would be annexed and brought in. Okay? So you can see that there's, the schedule was developed in 1920. It's definitely out of date. It does not split. Who pays for the open ditch? Who pays for the tile systems and stuff? And therefore, because you're going to, we recommend annexation of additional grounds, we got assessment issues inside that need to be addressed. We are recommending that this district also be reclassified. Reclassification says we reevaluate what benefit each one of the parcels in this watershed get from that facility. You would first separately look at the open ditch. You would then look at the tile main. You would separately look at the relief tile. And you would end up possibly with four to five different assessment schedules. <clears throat> the lands up here in what was originally Drainage District 21 do not get any benefit from the open ditch. The reclassification process there's two options available 